Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, um, today I'm going to repot my Synhopias. I did have this <laughs> strange setup for them. Uh, I will have a link so you can check that out. But yeah, it did kind of okay, but they're not really looking that happy, to be honest. So I think I might change the setup plus. There were a few of you guys that suggest that even the holes in these baskets would were too small if they ever decided to flower. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to um, change it before I don't want to lose the plants completely. And I must admit, that I think about three days ago, I did uh, um, put uh, my oil stuff on them, <laughs> my solution, because they have spider mites. So, therefore, we have also some spotting going on, and the growths aren't that big. But I want to change them, and I think I'm going to give them a little bit different spot as well. I just today received these hanging baskets, and I noticed that some other growers have them in these kinds of baskets as well, Stanhopias. And I think it looks nicer than I have them already, if you compare it. Plus, I don't have algae in the, uh, these faces anymore. <laughs> That's a plus, but I have to water them with a sprayer. But I have to water also my um, Thelumnias more often. So I thought, well, let's try it and try to uh, put this Stenhopias in this, in this uh, hanging basket setup. And I need to keep my eye on them if they don't dry up too much in between. And yeah, the baskets are very big, so they are probably a little bit too big. But I couldn't find any smaller ones. But I will try this. I think it will be uh, will be okay. So uh, yeah, let's uh, start uh, repotting them. And I'm very curious to see if we have any roots left or anything what's happening inside of these baskets. So I will uh, install everything and I will be right back. Okay, so we are now at the up-putting table inside the orchid room. And here I have the first one. This is the uh, Janie. Janie, I'm not sure. I will have a better tag in the end of the video because I do make now uh, another black tags as well so i will uh, come back to the names for this for these guys but i just noticed that this one is making new roots there and i will show it uh, uh, later on well actually i can oops i can lift it it's kind of heavy but i hope you can see it there i think you can some few new roots so actually this is a nice uh, time to do a repot so i had this system so you can uh, i have these handles here and can lift it out and you can already see that this is uh, very um yeah gross <laughs> looking um i probably want to cut those off because they're very dirty let me grab a scissor whoop there you go and let's put it in here so we can put the face to our side i will put it here on the floor um let's have a look we have these pebbles, but it's quite a big uh, new setup, so it will be fine. Because I will reuse the media as much as I can. It's a little bit of wheat. So, okay. I will try not to break the new roots, of course. And I'm slowly lift it. Try to get it out. There we go. Let me see if I can get the wicking wire out first. I see some roots and I see alive roots. That's good. More roots, to be honest, than I expected. So um, I'm going to, yeah, beautiful roots. I will show it then. To, uh, uh, the roots in a minute it's kind of hard for me trying to figure out a system and talking to you guys I'm sorry 
Um, but I'm not sure what I'm doing, so I was a little bit focused, of course. But, and surprised, to be honest, by the root system. Let me show it to you. So this one has quite some beautiful roots, luckily. So we can work with that. I try not to break them, of course. But before I put it in the new basket, I will get this old bulb off as good as I can. Well, it's actually, it's quite dry. I can turn the bulb and then, as you can see, just turn it, turn it, and then pull it off. And it's already uh, fairly dry. I think it's, yes, feels completely dry. So it's not a problem. If it was uh, still moisture in it, I wouldn't do it like this. I would uh, try to cut it with the scissors and don't uh, spoil any moisture coming out of that bulb onto the roots or the other bulbs because that would be a um, infection, bacteria infection or rotting bacteria. You don't want them over on your uh, good bulbs, of course. So, yeah. Not that bad. Okay, I will uh, grab uh, the basket and put it in, put the media back, and that's basically it. I'm not going to mess with it, because I used Cintiq around the roots, and there are quite some good roots, and I definitely want to keep those. And um, so, yeah, this is uh, fairly easy so far. I will be right back with a new setup. So, I quickly uh, grabbed the basket we just saw, the hanging basket, and I think the flower spikes might go through. Because this, this is easy to uh, maneuver, maneuver around, so I hope that's uh, correct, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that's why I only have two Stenopias and I leave it at two, because they, it's not really, I cannot really um, accomplish the need that they have. They, they seem to be not that uh, difficult to grow, but I cannot, because of, because of my daily life, my job, and etc. I not always have the time to water them, so that's why I grow them most of my work self-watering. So I don't need more that is uh, that can be a little bit finicky uh, if we talk about watering. So I'm going to place it like this and you can see we have quite some space around it but that's it. I think it's okay because I uh, work with inorganic media so we don't have rotting media so that helps. Just pull some old media back, move it around, and I think this is a nice height. So it's a, a nicer level in comparison to the uh, edge of the pot, I think. So let's uh, put in the media again, and I think I need some more, but because yeah, absolutely, this basket is uh, whoops is bigger than the previous setup but like i said i couldn't find the s smaller ones and i'm not even sure they exist i think they do but so let's grab some new pumice beautiful pumice it's a fairly big one sounds like i really really love the pumice from this brand velda it's called velda and i'm planning on making a video about it I took some pictures in the garden center where uh, I can find this stuff because I have on occasion uh, people ask me of course where I do find this stuff and it's like I said it's just beautiful fairly big so uh, and I love to work with it and the nice thing it doesn't start to uh, rot so that's not going to be a problem. Media, talking of, talking of course, I'm sorry for the noise. Because if your roots start to rot or your bulbs, you still have rot in your pot, obviously. But it will not be the media. And I like that idea. <laughs> um, yeah, put the basket a little bit. This is cocoa fiber, if I'm correct. The basket, I mean, the stuff. 
brown stuff and it should be able to uh, allow like i said the flower spike to go grow through so i hope it does <laughs> and i think it will because other growers like i said use this as well that's almost uh, every always for a reason of course <laughs> So I will just give this a top layer of pebbles because, whoops, there goes one on the floor. Yeah, I can't find it. Oop, here it is. Because I like the look of it and it keeps the moisture in the pot a bit longer. And like I said, I think it's nicer. Yeah, it's a nice way to, uh, it gives a nice look to it, I should say. And it gives the pot some weight because the pebbles are a little bit heavier and in some cases in this case it wasn't necessary but sometimes when you have an orchid that doesn't have much roots some pebbles around it may establish it a little bit more and better in in the pot so that's uh, that's beautiful i think and like i said i personally like the look of it and of course you have so many different pebbles I like these kinds. They are fairly gray when they are dry and when they are wet, they start uh, are really getting black, but they uh, dry up fairly quickly, but they keep the moisture underneath it a little bit longer. So that can be in some cases very beneficial, of course. So let's grab the other one and then we will have a last look at them in their new setup in the greenhouse. So here we are again with another uh, basket case i just had to say it at least one more once <laughs> i don't know it's stupid but uh yeah the second basket case let me see this is uh looking very disgusting again of course so i'm gonna cut that off it's really really yeah disgusting that's looking so nice so let's get it out of the way Put it next to the other vase there. Is my mic still on you guys? Yeah, I think it is. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> because it wouldn't be the first time when I uh, was filming and my mic wasn't uh, turned on. So I had to redo everything. But a uh, repotting, it's very difficult to redo, of course. So <laughs> I just needed to check quite quickly. Okay, the next one. Uh, the previous one had a very nice root system. This one is a little bit smaller. This is the Na Niagara Niagara Fallacia. Niagara Fallacia. I can barely read the tag, but something in that uh, area. <laughs> and I know Justin, Justin and Justin Argensen Moore has this one as well, if I'm correct. But yeah, again, it's not a very old one, this one. So slowly get it out of the pot, out of the basket. There we go. And there we go. Well, I think it's the same situation. This has roots, more roots than I thought, luckily. But still, I wasn't getting the vibe anymore of this new setup. Sometimes you have that feeling like you need to do something about it. I waited for a while and I was like, no, I really, really have to do it now. <laughs> So I turned on the camera and I started repotting. Well, actually, first I started ordering the baskets, but anyhow. <laughs> but yeah, you know how that goes. It was actually yesterday that I ordered them and they were in the mail today. Not too late in the day, so I can uh, still uh, do a repot. Yeah, this one has actually uh, maybe even more roots. I hope you can see them. Don't... Uh, let me show that to you. These are the wicking wires, of course, but these aren't. <laughs> Those are the roots. So yeah, we have some older ones. These are a little bit discolored, but they still are firm. At least most of them. So I don't take them off once again. Um, so I'm going to put it 
sideways because those roots are underneath the plant and I don't want to break them. At least we try. So we get uh, the next basket. Because what's the basket case without a basket, of course. Okay, enough. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cocoa fiber. Yeah, I can see through it, so I think it will be fine if it ever decided to bloom. But I think, once again, that these are a little bit too young. And I must admit, I'm not waiting for blooms yet. They, I like them to be a little bit stronger. So, just grow. You don't have to bloom yet. Do that when you're ready. And they will, of course. But, well, actually, sometimes, of course, we have... Uh, even is this bark no it's not bark i'm sorry sometimes they start to bloom when they actually shouldn't bloom because they are a little bit too young or not strong enough etc same situation putting the old media back in it's inorganic one once again so i can reuse it i don't wash it it's fairly clean it looks clean, it looks uh, nice, so I can uh, use it straight in a new pot again. Where's my scoop? Here it is. So, top it up, the basket, with new pumice. Carefully put it in. Once again, we don't want to break those roots. Whoops. What I just said. Don't break the roots. So far so good. Luckily. So putting media around it. Could have a little bit more media here. Let's do that. Yeah. Filling up the holes. Um, yeah, I think this is nice. A little bit room left for some pebbles. So let's grab the pebble. I'm so happy that both of them have, have roots. I'm serious because I... <laughs> yes, of course I'm serious. <laughs> But seriously, I was uh, I was really afraid that when I did start potting them, that they wouldn't have any roots left. But then again, I thought not always everything goes right. So I'm just going to show it, and we're going to talk about the solutions. But so far, uh, yeah, not bad. I think I think they will do better in this setup. So they might be growing a bit bigger, a bit quicker. Just, uh, just a feeling, and especially based on what I saw with other growers, same setup and how the plants look. So yeah, sometimes, whoops. Sometimes you, uh, yeah, you can really get inspired by other growers, I think. That's the beauty of YouTube, of course. And I now have pebbles on the floor. <laughs> no, it's not, not the end of the world. I will grab them after filming I think this looks nice so I have the stay there so I have the pop uh, the pop <laughs> the layer of pebbles uh, on here as well just one more last look I think it's okay so I will put it back and then uh, we will uh, have a last view of the new setup Okay, so I have now my orchids uh, outside. Here is the early baskets that I used. If you didn't see them, but you can see the holes are, uh, yeah, apparently too small. So let's uh, have a look uh, inside the greenhouse. And I will first, well, you see them already a little bit. I will shut down the uh, van. I'm sorry for the noise. I think it's now better. But yeah, look at this, beautiful beautiful personally and there's 
even some room of course underneath them so if they ever decide to make a spike the, it's uh, the spike is room <laughs> to grow but yeah maybe a little bit on the big side the basics themselves you can see there's a plenty of room to grow so i um, hope they will be uh, happy with that and fill it up with quite some bulbs <laughs> Yeah, once again, I couldn't find smaller baskets, so I think it's another problem. I think they dry up quite fairly, uh, uh, quite quickly. So, and they are used to a um, wet environment, of course, because I had the wicking wire and the vases. So they basically are grown self-watering, and that's why I had that set up to uh, try to make a sort of uh, semi-self-watering setup. <laughs> uh, so these are, yeah water roots and even i think close to water roots and if i'm correct um, they from, uh, normally do not like to dry up uh, as well so i just spray them quite often i think and it should be fine so even in a bigger pot normally if you don't grow self watering and you have big pots the problem will uh, be that when you water the water isn't uh, of the pot isn't dried up before you need to water again in let's say around the orchid itself uh, it's dry but not on the outer side of the pot so that's why people uh, strongly advise not to use oversized pots for your orchids but in this case it doesn't matter that much and in self-watering as well because it's always moisture that's the point of self-watering so if you have smaller or bigger pots it doesn't matter at least not not in my uh, my case but uh yeah this is it i hope you enjoyed this video and i think um i thought well i'm going to do this so we can uh, can have a look at them and and do updates i personally enjoy those videos um so i hope you do as well of course as usual i'm always open to suggestions questions please leave them in the comment section below for now thank you for watching and of course i really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos bye bye Oh, thank you. <laughs>